What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. The term gaslighting gets thrown around a little too often these days. Maybe that's because it's a victim of the world we live in nowadays, or people just don't understand what gaslighting really is. And then I saw this post from Gerard the Completionist on the G4 Discord server, and I gotta say, this guy plays the best victim card I've seen in a very long time. Smash JT the subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full article discussing this leaked screenshot from the G4 Discord server. And if it wasn't bad enough, from his initial video titled My Response that was lacking any kind of empathy and sincere apology and feeling any kind of remorse for what he was caught doing, by the way, if anything, going after Carl and Muda for bringing up publicly available information, bringing it to light and exposing it to everyone, he got caught. And instead of saying, hey guys, thanks for catching that. We're definitely going to repair that and fix it right away. Sorry about that. What's he do? He goes on the offense, starts playing victim card, and then threatens to sue them. Anyways, let's go through this leaked message from G4's Discord. And for those of you who aren't familiar with G4, I'm sure you've seen this clip. In this is not where I thought we were going, I know, but you I'm here. I have no here. idea. I'm listening. Yeah. In joining G4, I was ecstatic to be part of something that I grew up watching as a child. But every time G4 is brought up in various channels, even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us, I can see you, without a doubt, there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. It was bad enough that he was sitting there that day with Frost, witnessing firsthand a mental breakdown in front of everyone to see, but then to not say anything, not to try to curve it back in and, and reel him back into reality. He just encouraged it. And I think that says a lot about his mentality. He's the kind of guy that doesn't want to stir the pot, whether that's because he wants to avoid controversy altogether or because he's just a nice guy. But this leaked screenshot, I just got to read it to you. I just want to say I'm sorry for all the mental anguish that this all put you guys through. Not that, not that I put you guys through. Not that I literally lied about for 10 years and, and didn't donate any money all the while I said I was. Nothing, no, 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 not me. This situation. See, it's not my fault. It's, it's the situation we're all dealing with. I've been here silently reading all your comments and I know it's upset a lot of you in so many different ways. I deserve, not, not all of it, I deserve a lot of it. Not all of it. This is never going to end. What what kind of victim mentality is that? The internet is never going to stop coming after you? Maybe that's because you refuse to admit your mistakes. Because you refuse to accept full accountability for everything you've done. All the lies you've said. Of everything you've dragged on with this entire foundation. Running a website with fake quotes on it. Running a golf charity with some questionable funding. I mean, there's a lot of things we could say about this, but the fact remains, you haven't been accountable nearly as much as you need to be for what you've done. And I'll handle it as best I can, because hey, it's on me, guys. I'm the one that has to handle this. This isn't your problem. Feel bad for me dealing with what's never going to end. Stay wonderful, G4 community. It's just, it's so cringe that he had to write that comment. Like, basically, you spell that out, you say that, you're telling the world that you want them to feel bad for you, that you are still not accepting any accountability for your actions, and you refuse to admit what you did wrong. Going through the replies on this Reddit thread are fantastic, where people are taking him to task on every single word that he wrote. Accusations of gas gaslighting and victim mentality. Many users are accusing Gerard of typical gaslighting tactics, criticizing his approach to handling the situation, and there's a general consensus that he's playing the victim card here. He's refusing to take any accountability. Discussions are rife with skepticism about Gerard's future involvement with the charity event or foundations. While some users pointed out that he announced stepping away from the foundation in his video, others are doubtful, speculating whether he would come back to participate in activities such as Indie Land sometime in the future after all of this dies down. Personally, I can't envision a world where Indie Land even exists anymore because 
the reputation has been run through the mud because of this situation. How could anyone trust anything about it based off of what's transpired in the past? Especially when there's so many other YouTube channels that are legitimately raising funds for charities because they care about things. People like Nerdy Nick, a good friend of the channel who did a charity drive for Christmas tots for he went shopping he showed pictures at the store he donated the toys i donated to that cause because i knew he's someone i could trust and i knew that this was going to a good cause those still do exist i feel like people like gerard doing stuff like this sullies the entire reputation of anyone trying to do a good thing on YouTube. And that, I guess, at the end of the day, is what pisses me off so much about all of this. Gerard's public responses, particularly his My Response video, have always been heavily critiqued. Users feel like these responses lack any sincerity or accountability. Comments like, he's just trying to get sympathy, and he needs to just come out and admit full fault. But here's where it gets interesting on the Reddit thread, and I found this fascinating. A uh, potential insight as to why Gerard refuses to tell the truth, refuses to be sincere about what happened, refuses to just be open and honest and accountable. Because if he does that, it might open him up to actually going to prison. It might open him up to admitting to legitimate charity fraud, which is what all of this looks like, but for obvious reasons, he can't admit to that because then he'd be basically indicting himself. Where some users were saying, yeah, and he should do that, and he should go to jail, and he should serve his time because he deserves that. That's what he did. He did it wrong. He, he lied, he cheated, he could have potentially stolen funds by the way, if this wasn't called out. And because of that, he should do his time, serve it, and actually, some of the users on Reddit said they'd have far more respect for him for doing the time and then trying to win his audience back after the fact. It's happened to plenty of celebrities in the past, Martha Stewart, looking at you, but there's so many celebrities that have done hard time, come out, and won their reputation back by showing people that they did the right thing afterwards. Several of the posts accused Gerard of emotional manipulation, alleging that he's using the controversy to garner sympathy. The perception is further fueled by his language in public statements, which some users interpret as attempts to minimize his responsibility and all of this. Gerard's reputation has been sullied by this, and it's only going to get worse if he doesn't change his attitude, if he doesn't start opening up and being accountable and facing the facts of his actions, something he has yet to do, and if anything, he has minimized those and then started to go after the people that caught him in the first place, which still blows my mind that people are upset at Carl and Muda for bringing publicly available information to light catching him and whatever he was trying to do with those funds and him getting mad at them. Like, how? How is that on Carl and Muda? This is crazy to me. On r slash The Completionist 2, which, by the way, is a new Reddit place where people from The Completionist, where it got shut down and locked down and they can't access it anymore, have created their own space to speak freely about the completionist situation. It is filled with tons of information that truly opens your eyes to this entire wild situation. The community's reaction to Gerard's handling of this charity controversy on r slash the completionist 2 is overwhelmingly negative for obvious reasons. And the accusations of playing the victim and big time gaslighting, coupled with a perceived lack of accountability and transparency, have significantly damaged his standing within the community. As this situation unfolds, it remains to be seen how Gerard will navigate this crisis and whether he can regain the trust he once had. But one thing's for sure, this whole thing is far from over. Gerard can bury his head in the sand all he wants. I'm going to keep talking about it until this guy comes out and takes some accountability. Until he comes out, tells everyone, fully transparent, without putting the blame on the viewer or on the donor or on Carl and Muda, without trying to threaten lawsuits. If he just comes out and is honest with his audience and says, guys, I really screwed up. And leave it at that. Don't try to play the victim. Don't try to gaslight people. Just say the truth and let people make up their own mind. I think part of the problem is when you're pandering to an audience of children for so long, you think you can manipulate everyone. And that ain't happening with this situation. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. Smash it,